Hello. 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 Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. Okay. Just going to let people hop on here. Whoa, runaway head. Runaway limbs. I just got to, I got to chug my drink here. Yummy breakfast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, crap. Let me just wipe that off real quick. Right? Schlobber knocking all over my face as usual. <laughs> so it's just kind of going down the wrong tube there don't you hate when that happens <laughs> um so oh good um I have been wanting to make a craft room I mean I already have an entire room in the house and it's pretty awesome it has like drawer like built-in drawers and cupboards and stuff like that and it's like legit but now I'm doing like other parts of the business and unfortunately I just don't it's like I want to make it so bad and just like I can <sighs> but it's like my brain doesn't let me you're painting now too Woohoo! yeah here it today's a painting day I haven't you know I took a pretty good amount of time off um, and then I was like, I don't know. And then I do a, when I do a live, I just like, remember how fun it is to hang out with everybody. <laughs> and then I'm like, I need to do that more. Hey, Carol. Um, yeah. So I like my other living room, the floors are done and the walls and everything. And, uh, I really want to make, I really want to put stuff in there for a craft room to where I can like do my other part of the business, which is like more of the shirts and like uh shirts and like the printing and like maybe have a computer and stuff like that <sighs> well I mean I have a computer but um oh thank you I know it's like those floors I literally waited my entire life to have I'm surprised my husband agreed to it because it's like very it's pretty loud right that black and white marble but it's like oh, it's so sexy I love it just wake up in the morning. I'm like, ooh, floors. Wait, you guys don't do that to your floor? What? What? Oh, maybe I'm the only one that swims on my floors in the morning. I only go live on Facebook. It's so much fun to interact with everyone. <laughs> oh, so gorgeous. Love the floors. I, you know, for some reason, I don't do a Facebook live. I, and I'm not sure why, because there's a shit ton of people on there, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just like, it takes me a long time to get things done or not necessarily get things done, but like the change is a little bit, sometimes a little bit difficult for me to do. Once I get started, I'm okay. And then I'm like, wow, why didn't I do that 20 years ago? Good job being good freaking job. So I am working on this baby. She is a custom order he she I don't know if it's gonna be a boy or girl I forget but um whoa whoa doll rolling your head in the pink paint um here's the limbs and here's the little hands so cute oh my gosh you guys you should see the I just got some kits in the mail oh let me go and get let me go and get it you guys gotta see it so cute <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and show you this. 
These unicorns I have to make a uh, tutorial with. And like I said, I haven't been really, um, I don't know what she's barking at. I haven't been really doing a lot of painting just because I was doing other things and then it was nice and I don't know, I just don't like to argue with myself when I'm not in the mood for painting. Do you know what I mean? It's like, sometimes I can make myself paint and then once I start, I'm okay, but then sometimes I'm very delayed and it, it'll be like a week or something and then it's like, whoa, and then I'll go on to paint and then it just works out better. So, I don't know. I just don't argue with myself. Hello, hello. Eh. Okay, so these I have I am going to be need to be need I really being seriously, you need to do that. Okay, let me show you. What did I just do with it over here? Look at this kit. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought that it was. I got this from McPherson's. This is the L, L, Fred, what, what is it? Fred or something? Don't mind me, I'm just peeling its skin. Just, I'm just giving it a little neck facial here. There you go. This one had a little bit too much sun. Look at the ears, so cute. I believe, and you know what? Yeah, he is big, right? I thought that he, like, I was so surprised. And what's even funnier about that, and look at his little gums. <laughs> I know the ears are really, oh my God, have you seen her new, Corolla's new sculpt? It is so <laughs> freaking cute. I have a thing with like wilted ears. And, so it has like these funny like wilted ears and then like these really cool little horns. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. Like, I really wish she would ask me to do the prototype for that one. But I honestly, it doesn't bother me either because I'm not very good with prototypes. Like, I can do them, but I'm not, you have to be, uh, what's the way to explain it? I, f I feel like I can't commit to prototypes. I'm just not one of the people who could really commit to that. Every once in a while, I'll do them. Um, if I'm asked, but, and I do, I mean, I do like doing them. I will be doing some, some fantasy ones coming up, but I do struggle with prototypes, um, where some artists are so good. Like they're just, they do only prototypes and they're like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Hey Jen. I know cute, but look at how big, look at how much bigger he is in person right? I feel like he's so much bigger. And then I bought this other kit at the same time thinking that it was like a bigger baby. And like, look at how small it is. <laughs> like, how did that happen? I was like, what? I had no idea it was this small. I was like, I don't normally buy them this little, but I mean, it's cute and I'll paint it because it has an adorable face. This is Cap... Kovu by Sugarine, Sugarine, Sugar, Sugar, wait, what? S, oh, it's S dot. Oh, that's her last name. <laughs> so it's by S dot her garden, her garden, her garden. <laughs> I totally butchered that. I can't, I just can't. Yeah, it's, isn't it cute? I mean, it is very cute. It's a really cute little, like, that face where they kind of have, when they're just, I'm going to do it like a just born, just born baby. But I was surprised on um, how little it is. And here's the belly plate. And um, here is the hands. So for, I think that the hands honestly don't, when you look at the size of the baby compared to the arms and the legs, I feel like if you were to look at these, you wouldn't think that it's a preemie, right? I feel like I feel like these are pretty normal size, but then like the belly plate and the head is like well, that didn't work very well, did it? <laughs> I just show you and it's just a big pile of baby limbs. 
Um, yeah, so I feel, I do feel like, let me move this one. This one has ginormous eye. Whoa, it looks super yellow from this. Doesn't it look really yellow for some reason? It must be the lighting. That is so bizarre. Okay, so I'm going to put this baby right up here. There we go. Anyway, I feel like, I really do. I feel like the the head and the body is okay, but then the limbs are like big. It's cute though, it's super cute. It just was released. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll see a baby that's just released and I'm like, mine. And I got this one at the same time. And I believe it's sold out now. I think maybe on irresistibles it is <clears throat> okay so let me see here okay one the here's your other leg so this is another one that I've been working on which is a real born um, are you going to make the unicorn soon yes I'm supposed I should have like I should have really chipped away at it so far but didn't happen I know this is what I mean about like, <sighs> I need to do that. I really, really need to do that. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's get it started. So I think I'm going to, hmm, 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 what do you think? What do you think, huh? What do you think, little one? What do you think? Maybe I'll just mix up some colors. Um, Darren is a, oh, is this Darren? Wait, is this one Darren? Yeah, it makes a perfect little vampire, the cute little vampire mouth. Um, I will not be doing the unicorn live. I will be probably filming it in the other direction. <clears throat> and then uh, I have to like to do um, use the fantasy paints on it. And yeah, I think that's what makes me kind of wait or that's what makes me so delayed with them is I have so much, it's like I pressure, it's th that pressure on me to um, paint and to like explain it, like explain the painting and then I get overwhelmed and then I, I and then it's like, it takes me forever to get started because I, it just, I don't know, it's like stresses me out. I mean, I like doing it but it just it does like the organization part of it really stresses me out so yep <sighs> pretty much pretty freaking much okay so let me see what do i want to um okay so i'm just gonna mix up some colors here because i'm more than likely i'm gonna have to use them anyway so let me see. Let me see here. I really like this color. Dream got his feet done yesterday. It always just amazes me too about when um you know people do his feet because uh he's just so big. And this one girl, she's new um, because the other girl that was doing his feet, I don't know, she, I, I don't really know the whole story, but she's not able to. So then she recommended, um, she recommended this other girl who just graduated not that long ago, but it's just really crazy, like what they do. I mean, they literally get up under the horse and like, you know, pick up their feet and trim it. And like, they're like bending over the whole entire time and holding their feet between, I mean, holding the horse's hoof between their legs. Well, my horse anyways, cause he's so heavy that they have to like brace him, you know? And, um, and sometimes he's like not very nice about it either. She said that he wasn't like bad, bad, but it's just that he's so big, which is true. Like I can't even do it. I can't even hold his one freaking foot up. I'm so pathetic. 
Yep, get a draft horse, right? Get a draft horse, Bean. It's okay. It's, it's okay if he's a thousand feet tall and weighs thousands of pounds. You can take care of him. <laughs> okay. Mix up a little bit of color here. And purple, I'll probably, you know, I think I'm gonna mix up a little bit of blue. Chances are I'm gonna use it. So nice out today. Yeah, so they just closed the Canadian border for another 30 days. Ugh, I think I might've mentioned that before. I don't know, I can't remember, but it sucks. <gasps> and I mean, I can't really complain that much because there's people that are in worse circumstances. So, but at the same time, it's like, I can't see any of my family <gasps> whatsoever. They can't come here. So. Way to go, Canada. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> they got to keep Canadians safe, right? Okay. So I kind of want to, uh, do I have any? Let me see here. So people have been asking me to like mix up colors like this. So people can see what I do and I apologize for my weirdness of how I paint <laughs> my weirdness let me see here I need a little more oh let me see I better have a freaking no that's not it I better have it bean seriously I'm gonna smack you if you didn't oh there's a little bit there Okay, that has something else in it. Crap! I better have it or else. There's eyeballs. Oh, check that out. Check that out, you guys. <laughs> I did it. Some a Genesis thinner in there. Because I am going to be prepping some vinyl at the same time. Um, I don't know what I should prep the unicorn with because it's so white. I guess. I guess I could do the same color because it doesn't really go on dark anyway. So it just like, cause I have, I have to, I have to um, prep it anyway before I start doing the video. Cause I want it at least like the color on it and then do the fantasy paints. If that makes sense. Okay. I'm going to back it up here. Oh, how they do their feet. Hey, Shannon. Um, I know. I can't even. Oh, my goodness. I love you, too. Um, did you guys see? Okay, on, I think it's on Irresistibles. Um, did you see? I know it's very white. Did you see um, the werewolf pup and it has its mouth open? It's pretty insane. It's. I believe it's just the sculpt that they're showing right now. Um, and it is like, wow, it is really cool. It's like super cool. I love, I just love, I just love, I just love, okay. I'm just gonna throw some, I'm just gonna throw some, this is all I gotta say about that. I'm just gonna throw it. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah, I plan on painting for a little while today, so get her done. It's pretty crazy to see people sculpt. Cindy Musgrove is another one that has really ventured out into fantasy. And um, man, I always knew that she was gonna be super good at that. Her her sculpts are are pretty cool. I mean, it must be so fun, hey? Right? To like be like that, to be able to do that and then like start branching out on fantasy. Cause before I feel like I feel like before like years ago and stuff, people didn't even really have expressions within um, babies. The expressions just started coming out like not, I feel like, let me see. So I all I know is that I had to search all the time for kits with just an open mouth or an appropriate mouth I can use to be a vampire. So um, you know, and I would like search and search for it. And then it and then it became a little more popular. And then people started to really branch out and they would do like the big smiles. But like at, at first, people wanted peaceful looking sleeping babies because that's what made them look realistic, right? They look like just sleeping babies. And then eventually they started coming out with more and more expressions and then like more criers and then like you know big smilers and all kinds of all kinds of baby expressions and so it just got really fun but then I feel like people still weren't really ready to take fantasy kits that much but then eventually you know it snowballed into that my first Cindy Musgrove kit I did was Rosebud. Oh, I love that kit, that Rosebud kit. Yeah, I couldn't even afford expensive babies. When I first started, like I could literally only afford Bountiful, ba <laughs> Bountiful Baby. And uh, eventually I was able to, you know, get one kit at a time and then I'd sell it and then I'd like buy another kit. And it was like that for a couple of years. You gotta start somewhere. I mean, their prices, Bountiful Baby's prices are like, they're the reason why I can do beanstalk buds, really. I mean, you can buy baby heads for snuggle babies, but yeah, so it's pretty crazy to see all the changes that have happened all over the years. And then they got into making these like, uh, making these like really fantasy looking babies and then creatures and I really like them, but I'm not really into them that much, honestly, into painting them. And it's only because I really love painting babies. It's just, so, I mean, I can paint them and sometimes every once in a while I do, but I do like making the baby just because they're so like innocent and fun they're so innocent and fun just like me yeah we're like this we are like this you guys rose was supposed to happen next week feeling really bummed oh next week huh. isn't that crazy i mean just like the whole thing is just nuts and i oh jeez i don't even know I had so many can like so many things canceled this year. And then friggin' Air Canada wouldn't even give me my money back. A holes. <laughs> they gave me credit for two years. It's like where uh uh tank was my favorite you did. Uh, see I have another tank that's literally half done and I haven't even like finished it yet. And I have the I have these ones too that I could be paint. I've had these like painted, like ready to go for like two years. It's insane. Same here with Delta. Oh, so they did, oh my God, are you serious? How can they do that? How is that okay? 
I guess so they don't go out of business, but I mean, we're talking about huge ass airlines. Like it's such a, it's so ridiculous. Luckily I got my money back from, for the cruise, but my airfare was more expensive. 2000 in tickets. Uh, uh. <laughs> I just gag for you. Uh. Oh, that's so much money. Yeah, my Air Canada was 1200 because we were flying from Vancouver to um, to the Caribbean. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, though, <laughs> because I'm sure that there's other things, too, right? Like your rose tickets and the booth and the like it is not cheap to go to those things thought it was against the law not to give your money back um i'm having problems buying well okay so about the thinner the thinner that i use was sold out like it's thinner in general it's so crazy it's like i try to get them at like michael's and stuff because i have like the coupon but I don't know everybody's painting and creating these days so um but anyways yeah I mean it is it's not cheap to go to those doll shows um I still haven't gotten all my money back from Ticketmaster yet apparently they have to wait for the event to send the money in the order to refund it I love you too not as much as airfare but they should be knowing that people need the money right now it, isn't that ins insane though? Like you would think Air Canada and Delta, you know, are huge airlines. Like that's not very fair at all. Like ugh. they're like, oh, you can have a credit. First it was a year and it was like, we don't even know when we're even going to be able to fly. Not only that, but people took time off work. I mean, it was two years that it was planned for. Um, for my the birthday cruise but um, yeah so then they're like oh you can have credit so I don't know now so now they delayed it to two years because they don't really know exactly what's gonna happen and then as far as Rose goes um, I know that they had sold out of so much inventory so it's like and then they're saying it's gonna take like a year to two years to to um get it back yeah we don't know how long covid will be around and how long till the um be let's see uh everyone feels safe to fly again cruises are so much fun being on three i love don't you love cruises my kids don't like it's fun they're so funny because they don't fully understand um, my younger ones love it. They love cruises. And then my older ones are like, Ugh. I felt bummed too. creative newborns. Um, yeah, they, they're like, my boys love it. They're just, I mean, they get to eat ice cream and like pizza and all kinds of food and fruit and like, you know, just there's a kids club, there's a swimming pool. They love it. And then my older kids are kind of like, oh, it's boring. But they, uh, you know, they're at that, that teenage age. And they're like, I don't understand cruises. Like, we could go fly somewhere and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's because you're not a parent. And you don't make your, you know, no, you don't have to cook. Okay, first of all, the Hawaiian one that we go on is 15 days. So like you don't have to cook or anything for that long. They can play. You can literally go and sit by a swimming pool and do nothing all day long. Yeah, I can use the, the 2K now. That is so much money. I probably would have, I, I, I try not to think about it, honestly, about not getting refunded either because then I might just cry. <laughs> but um. Yeah, cruises, oh my God, if you have multiple kids, it's so worth it, you guys. For one room, four people can go in one room. From, to go to Hawaii, we don't have to fly. It's right from Vancouver, well, either Vancouver to Hawaii, back to Vancouver, or Seattle back to, to you know, it's either Vancouver or Seattle, which are both pretty close. Um, and then it's 15 days, and then the first two people pay the full price, which is 1,800, and then they have this like, three for free so it 
whoa, whoa, sponge, whoa. They have this uh, thing called three for three. So you get your uh, free gratuities pay because when you go on a, a cruise, you have to pay um, all the tips and stuff per day, per person. So it's like another like $2,000 or something insane. Um, but then, so then it's 1800 plus you get the free um, tips and then drink packages. And then, so the first two people are the full price, the 1800 and then the third and the fourth are $499, like $499. So like you're paying $500 for the kids to literally play and eat and be babysat for 15 days. Like what? Oh, pff, take my money. Take my money, cruise ships. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. So weird how this one and this one, like the color is so different. Okay, so I just prepped that one. But uh, yeah, let me see. Let me see here. Okay. So I think, well, I want to, do I want to put more? Yeah, I'll put more pink on it. Okay. So I'm going to start with. I have problems with red. Does anybody else have problems with red? Like bright red? Um, only been on one cruise, started Miami, went around islands and stayed at Fort Lauderdale after the cruise. Ooh. Yeah, we were going to um, the Caribbean and I was really excited to go to this Flamingo Island. But I'm also like, I honestly, I try not to think about it. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it anymore. It's just like, no, no, freaking no. All righty. So let me get these. Let me get the sponge. So worth it though, when you have multiple kids and my parents go too. So then we get, we get two cabins. I was so friggin' sick the last time though, because I didn't, I was not prepared for a shaky boat at all. And normally it's fine, but that particular time, it just happened to be really rocky and we were at the end of the boat. Oh, so sick. Ugh. Gagging again. First because of the 2000 and now because the boat was shaking. See that? Yep, I can gag at multiple things. It's just a talent. It's just a talent that I have. <laughs> Whoa, dish. Man. I don't know. So what do you guys think for next year? Do you think Rose is going to happen? I mean, I know that they're planning on planning on it still happening. I haven't heard anything about them about the lawsuit though that they're Has anybody heard anything? Man, I would not be want to be doing that this this with all this going on. Maybe Justine can get the booth. Let's see. I hope so too. It, isn't it so crazy how when it doesn't happen, we're like, you know when it's happening and we're like Oh my God, get ready for the show. Blah, 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 And it's just like mayhem, you know? And then it's like, when it's not happening, it's like, my life is so boring without the doll show. Uh, just that they are doing it online instead of in person. Oh, because of, wow. Well, if it's dragged out long enough, it probably would be in person. That's, whoa, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. 
So this is going on quite pink, and you might think, wow, why, why, Bean? Why are you making such a pink baby? Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> the anticipation is a rush, I know, right? Um, after I put the pink on and I bake it, I am, I'll put some color on top of it, so it's not gonna be like super pink. So don't you worry your little head off, okay? You're gonna be okay. I know the anticipation is definitely, I, I, I feel like we should take a poll for like husbands and, and see how they feel that we weren't prepping for the doll show this year. <laughs> be like, so what's it like when your wife doesn't uh, have to go to a doll show? My house is mayhem anyway, still. Isn't that, yeah, oh man, two weeks. Two weeks? God. Such a bummer. Oh, now everybody's reborning at home. Next year there's gonna be like 10,000 babies. <laughs> You show up and it's just like a sea of babies. Oh wait, it's already like that. <clears throat> and I noticed too that, uh, what did I notice? What have I noticed? Oh yeah. Uh, so many doll kits get, <laughs> it just got right on my face. <laughs> nice baby you are. Nice sponge you are just spitting paint in my face. Jerk. It's okay, I'm gonna use you anyway. So many reborns are being sold out, hey? Like all the kit, the kits and stuff, I feel like. Oh, it's actually, you know what? It's probably because they sold out and then now they're, but their shipments are late. Do you think that's what it is? I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? I mean, I know that they're busy. Like McPherson's is so busy right now. If I didn't have <clears throat> shipments are slow, yes, yeah, so it's probably combination, right? It's probably like a combo of things that were selling out and they were waiting for shipments to come in and like pre people paying like uh, pre-orders and then stuff getting behind, I'm sure is what it is. If I didn't have 5,000 kits, I would be very scared right now. <laughs> BB Warehouse is empty. Isn't that insane? You guys, if you have not seen the Bountiful Baby uh, Warehouse, they have a Facebook page that, um, I forget what it's called, but uh, yeah, so Nevin has been posting some videos and Whew, man, it is empty. Doesn't that give you anxiety, Jen? Like, seriously, if you think about it, like, does that not give you anxiety? You're like, oh my God, <laughs> doll kits. It's kind of, it's like, and then, but like I said, they, they said that they were gonna, it was gonna take a year to two years to get back up. Get everything up and going again crazy and it's a huge warehouse I hope they can recoup too because if they they're if they suffer we're gonna suffer too you know and reborn kits are not cheap have you seen the new BB realborn Michael holy wow he is beautiful <sighs> I know I never used to make real borns. I'm glad they have a huge stash as well. Or I'm glad to have, yeah, a huge stash. I know, it's like, 
scary. It's like the toilet paper, only we're not buying toilet paper, we're buying doll kits. <laughs> toilet paper, ah, who needs it? Doll kits, yes, we need those. Yeah, I never used to make real borns um, because at first I didn't really agree with it. Um, just because I wanted to support like my my fellow artists by supporting sculptors. And then I made a couple of them and then I was like, whoa, they, they are actually really nice to paint. And they're a really good price and very realistic. And, and plus like I, I do both. I make all kinds, so. It's like a, it's like a bean wonderland in here. What can I say? I feel like I'm starting to paint closer and closer to my face too. I don't know why I started doing that. And then there's a friggin' conspiracy, thinner conspiracy out there. Wow, online court. <sighs> Oof. I feel like showing up for court is such a pain in the ass too. It's like so stressful. And I don't really understand, like, first of all, I don't have the attention span to sit there and listen. And then also I start thinking about random things like, who put the carpet in, who changes the light bulbs, who dusts, you know, like what kind of company made these chairs? Where did all these chairs come from? Who's the chair company? Like, it's ridiculous. Um, you, th you would think that they would have to, right? To make it, cause it's not, it's, it's public record. So happy to see all the babies next year. So talented. I didn't know about an online show. Is there a support page the artists are on? Maybe we can paint online viewing each other. Court is usually public. Yeah, unless it's like, it, it, it is public. I mean, you can like go on YouTube and literally watch like all kinds of different, unless it's like maybe with minors or something, but I, I mean, even, I don't know, because in the, in the foster system, you can go to the court. Like you don't, you don't have to be family and stuff. Like you can go. So. <sighs> Times are changing. And also, I don't like how, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with like lawyers and stuff, I hate how they are like smug. You know what I mean? I mean, some are, I'm not saying like all of them are like that, but like I cannot stand smug people. Like I think out of all the different behaviors, that's one that really, really bugs me is like they like that greater than you attitude. I don't, I don't like that. That I think smug and arrogant kind of go hand in hand. And yeah, some lawyers have that. And then I don't like it. And then I say something and then it's like ridiculous what I say. It's like, like I went to this one <clears throat> where it was like this, uh, we had to go in the, in this room and there was like, a couple of lawyers there and they like take a statement and they're like recording it. And, um, like I am the least most friggin' professional person to go into a situation like that because what I say is ridiculous. It's like it, because I feel like it's like the sarcasm comes out. You know what I mean? It's like, I'll start like, <laughs> okay. So for example, I was in this room 
with these people they're recording and like a family member of mine was talking and so they were like you know they had their their paper down and they're like taking notes and I'm like looking around and I'm thinking like how like I'm thinking like I really wanted to just say like f you like f all of you like you're not better than me you're you're not better than him like how dare you like how dare you have this kind of attitude and I really wanted to tell them off but um which actually takes me like you have to really really piss me off for me to tell you off like I don't like doing it it's not something that I find fun but it like I was super annoyed because they I just don't like when people make me feel stupid First of all, also because, um, okay, so now I'm going to go back. Now you guys have to crack my code and I apologize. Um, I, I don't like, it's like one of my insecurities is like feeling dumb because I'm very gullible. I, I've like, I, you know, I've said it before. I'm gullible, you know, I'm like have that weird in like innocence about me. And so if I feel like I'm threatened, then I become very, very sarcastic and will say some really a-hole remarks. And I don't mean to be that way, but it's like my only defense. And so they were kind of doing that. And I thought, you know what? Like, F you guys. Like, and so when I, when I said something, because he didn't have, let me think. It was a while. It was a couple years ago. So let me think. Okay, so there there was the person that was like recording it and then i was with a family member and then there was like their like lawyers on this side and like lawyer a lawyer on this side and then um and one of the people was underage and i think that's why i became even more defensive about it or and, and offended by the way that they were treating us um so then it's like once I get into that it's like what's up <laughs> once I get it into that it's like hard for me to like come back you know it's like come back <laughs> but um so then I would say something they're like you're not allowed to talk and I'm like they get a talk <laughs> and they're like they're lawyers and I'm like so I'm a lawyer too and then they're just looking at me like you are and <laughs> I'm like, well, if they get to talk, then I get to talk too. Like, well, how come they get to take notes and I'm not taking notes? And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take notes. And then I'm going to ask all of you questions and you guys are going to sit here and then she's going to type out what I have to say. And then you can take it back and you can read it and you can just shove it up your, you know what? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and then they're looking at me like I'm insane. And I'm literally like the things that I'm saying are so dumb and sarcastic and like out of this world they're just sitting there with their jaws open they're just like <laughs> blink 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 and yeah so they're like we're gonna have to erase that from the record blah 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 and i was just like you know what you freaking you're gonna take my record i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna use my husband's dj tables and i'm gonna record my own record and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna play it for you guys okay this is record bead you're going to have Bean's record playing in this room and you're going to record all of it. <laughs> oh, you know, and they are just like looking at me like, you can't say this out of line or this and you have to wait for this. And it was like, um, actually, no, I'm not. So what are you going to do about it now? Yeah. And then they're like, um, <laughs> There, and also, like I said, the other person was underage. So, like, I got super, when it comes to kids and stuff, oh, my God. And it's like, they're like, okay, calm down, calm down. And then, and then it's like, um, ah, uh, God, what was it? Oh, yeah. And then they're like, well, oh, well, trying to be nice. Like, oh, well, thanks for, you know, um, showing up and doing this. And I was like, yeah, I didn't have a choice. Actually, I was subpoenaed. So thanks. For, you can thank nothing. So don't be thanking me because, yeah. And then she's just looking at me. And I'm just like, yeah, so bye. <laughs> oh, my God. And also, I had a foster baby with me at the time. And uh, it was like quiet. Like I said, we were in the, 
we were looking, um, or I mean, we were looking, we were, uh, it was like quiet all of a sudden. And like I said, we were in this like office room thing. And um, all of a sudden he like pooped and it was like, <gasps> like, a, like a newborn poop. And everybody, I was like, what? like it was so loud and juicy. I was like, freaking yes, yes. And then they're like, wow. And I was like, yeah, you better hurry up or I'm going to shit my pants just like it in two seconds all over your chair. And then I'd like to see you have more meetings in this room and ask more questions with your perfect little paper and pen over there recording everything that I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> uh, only lawyers can talk. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to college and I'm going to become a lawyer. And then I'm going to come back here and then you're going to be sorry. You just freaking wait. <laughs> I cannot be trusted. Just saying. <laughs> oh man, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, sorry, you are upset. I just got here. I was just telling a story about how like I can't be trusted around like lawyers and like smug people like arrogant people because then I just start spewing ridiculousness all my favorite artist letters you guys are therapy to me Aww. <laughs> love how the doll head is looking did you get sorted to get foster babies yeah I have but there hasn't really been any um it's which is a good thing um I think that you know with this whole COVID thing going on People are also afraid. I've heard that they're afraid to like go and have babies in hospitals or they're not going for their like prenatal checkups and stuff. Um, which is really scary. But yeah, there's been barely any. <clears throat> are you leaving? Yeah. Oh. Where are you going? Toad Lake. What? Toad Lake. Is it far? No, it's just up there off of Britain Road. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Smell you later. Maverick, make sure you wear a life jacket. <clears throat> okay. Whew, man, that brought up a lot of memories for me. Now it's like circulating in my head and I'm just thinking about it. I was just thinking how like, it was so annoying. Yep. I mean, I can see why they would have to be that way, how lawyers would have to be. You know, but um, let's see. Darren's going to be a vampire. We're saying they're we're desperate for foster parents because of COVID. Um, so right now, oh, so they're they were OK. So, yes, they are. But um, they're older kids. There hasn't been any babies. And because when whatever county you live in is where they want to put the baby. Um, so they've just been, ha there hasn't been any babies in my county. That's all, that's all there is to that. They've been older kids, but the problem that I have with the older kids is that they would be out of school full time. And, um, I can't, I just couldn't commit to that. So... Yeah, so now it's a waiting game, which I'm not very good at. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to make a couple of vampire babies here and put them on Etsy. Um, I made some. I'm making some. I've also made some uh, really cute little like onesies specifically for monster babies and alternative dolls. So eventually once those are... Uh, 
up, then I'll then I'll post them. But I'm not really in a huge hurry to do that because I kind of want to get organized first. So. I get all hot and sweaty too if I go to any kind of court stuff. I just, I'm like, it just like does something to me, you guys. It's just, it like stress, it. and then I'm like, <laughs> I'm like sweating so bad trying to find my escape route. <laughs> Get me out of here. Just because like I have gone for, um, for fostering. So that was kind of my first venture if you can call it that, because for me, it's not very much an adventure, but. But I've been a few times. I've been, um, I had to go for a truancy for my oldest, which is uh, him not going to school. So they have that in Washington State here. If you miss a certain amount of time, you have to go to court, you can um, and then he had to like sign something saying that he would go. Um, and then <clears throat> one time ever, which was because I, oh, it was forever ago. It was because I got pulled over and my kid was getting off school. And um, so I was like, I gotta go. And I couldn't find the papers for my, um, I forget what they're called, but like I couldn't, I couldn't see, or I, could, I couldn't find like the paperwork. Eventually, I, and he's like, I'm just going to write you the ticket. And then I was like, okay, well, whatever. And then I went to court for it and showed the papers and it was fine. Yeah, registration. And he was in kindergarten. So like, I was like, I have to go. Like, my kid's going to be off school. And I just, that was literally like, just let me go. I don't even care. Write me the ticket. Yeah, so that was fun. Got to go to court for that. But it wasn't too, too bad. Like, what are you gonna do, right? What the heck are you gonna do when you live in a shoe? Oh man, my brush has seen better days, you guys. Doing okay over there, Twy? I'm really curious to see how Christmas goes with reborns this year. Do you think people finally understand that those are all scam sites? I saw some the other day that was actually like a baby, like a real baby. And it, they were like squeezing her cheeks and then she was smiling. And uh, 
people are like, how is that not a real baby? And it's like, it is a real baby. Like, how can, like, what? Just, you should not believe everything you see on the internet. Right? Don't we teach that? Aren't we supposed to teach that to our children? <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, get your real looking doll, blah, blah, blah. And it's like a real baby. It's like legit a real baby. Like what? How is that even legal? It's not, it shouldn't be. I don't understand. I just don't freaking understand, Darren. I don't, I don't understand. Hmm, let me see. Let me just work on her mouth a little bit here. I want it to be a little more... Uh, huh. I think I'll use this brush. That horrible to use real... Ba How is that legal? It's like selling children. I mean, it's not like they're really going to send them a real baby, but I mean, how... Like, what? Right? Yeah, and it was like a real baby that was smiling and it's like squeezing its... There's a scam on Facebook selling silicone avatar babies. Really cheap uh, video and pictures of the artists. Right? It's like advertising children on the internet. How is that? You would think the FBI would get involved on that. Don't you think? Freaking I would. I feel like they should be. I feel like they should be investigated. I mean, obviously, they're not going to be sending the people a real baby, but at the same time, you can't, it, how do you know? Like, it, it's like, you would think to yourself, okay, yeah, it's a real baby. I'm not going to get a real baby. But then it's like, well, if you're thinking that you're not going to get a real baby, then the ones that are reborns that look really, really real, then it would be obvious that you're not going to get that doll for $99, but it's not obvious because they're not getting it. And I don't, I don't really understand that. Right? I mean, how, like it was a real newborn baby and it was like stretching. Like you can tell that it's real. And people are just so like, oh, huh? how is that not a real baby? It is a baby, look at it. <laughs> Come on now. So crazy. But just the fact that they're advertising that should be illegal. Like whose baby is that, that they're advertising for sale? Can you imagine those parents finding out? Like, ooh. You would think that they would get sued. Whoa, paintbrush. I'm gonna darken up this mouth in here. Yep, there's gonna be a huge a huge spike in Etsy stores, <laughs> right? Etsy stores and eBay stores. Maybe not so much eBay because they're kind of, I don't know, can't be trusted. But everybody's at home. They're like, well, time to make art. Time to make art or time to be crafty and... <gasps> and then hiccup, just like that. <laughs> Let's see, I quit selling a long time ago on eBay. So I just stopped selling on there, like I wanna say maybe within a year or, or possibly, mm, let's see. It might have been a year. It, it might. It might have. It might have been a year. Well, this is super pale. Look at how pale. Look at how pale my baby is. Whoa. 
give you some vitamin D. Holy schmoly. And this one, his mouth is super cute. Happy Midsummer's Eve from Sweden. Hello to Sweden. Oh man, yeah, summer's coming up. How crazy is that? Time is flying, just flying by. Funny thing is about the Canadian border being shut is like you can like if I really wanted to go to Canada I could like don't you think that they would have to let me because I'm Canadian but then apparently you have to okay so let's so at first you couldn't cross at all only essential workers could cross and then people were protesting at the border because there's people that live, I live in a border town. So like there's people who work up in Canada and then live here or they, they live in Canada, they work here. Oh yeah, okay, they work here, live in Canada or live in Canada and work here. Did I just say it the same way? Oh my God, I'm dumb. Okay, anyways, so then people started protesting because there's husbands and wives and family members that haven't seen each other in like forever. So then they were sitting, they were going to the border at the Peace Arch and like going on the field. There's like literally a field that is for both countries. Oh, I said it right. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, wait, it, it didn't really sound like it was coming out properly. Um, so yeah, people were going to Peace Arch and they were like visiting each other there on the field uh, anyways. But then there was also people who were sitting at zero av so it's like here's a street and one side of the street is canada and the other side of the street is the u.s and so they were sitting one was sitting on one side of the ditch and then the other person was sitting on the canadian side <laughs> how funny is that i told my mom to do that so i can just throw her some cheese Think we'd probably get in trouble i don't know though what do you think do you think we'd get in trouble <laughs> oh people just start throwing throwing cheese and friggin toilet paper across the border <laughs> and milk gallons of milk yep. yeah so then they changed the rules to where family um so yeah, family can see each other, but how stupid it, this is ridiculous. But they ha if they enter Canada, they have to quarantine for two weeks. And then when they come back to the States, they have to quarantine again. So it's like, who can do that? Who can literally go there and do nothing for two weeks and stay at somebody's it's like oh yeah i'm gonna come over and visit you guys oh by the way i have to move in for freaking two weeks because i have to quarantine like not a lot of people can do that unless you're retired and if you're retired you're old and then you're more vulnerable to the virus so i feel like it's very counterproductive don't you hello <laughs> yep I am a unicorn, what can I say about that? Yeah, so it's like, it's super dumb, very counterproductive. Milk and bags? Oh, okay, what if we got like, um, what if we got like a, like a pump, you know, like when people do their grass and they have like that, you know, like the, the Ghostbusters, you know, with like a pump and then they can just like hold like a bucket and you will just like shoot it across the ditch and they can catch the milk in the bucket, right? So instead of milking the cow, we're just technically milking a person and they're catching it like a farmer, right? I feel like I, uh, I feel like I need to patent that idea, you guys. <laughs> 
I mean, it rains in both countries, so why, if it if it rains, rains out of a, a bag pump, why can't you catch it? That's what I'm saying, you know? You know what I mean? That works. <laughs> See what I mean? Ridiculous stuff comes out of my mouth. It just does. Yeah, I mean, it It rains water across both countries, so why can't it rain milk? Just saying, right? Or you can get a cow and just, like, hold it up and be like, and it could be, like, right out of the udder. I mean, you can't get any more fresh than that. You want fresh milk? Come and see Bean. Zero Av. She will hold up that cow, press on those udders, and boom! Fresh milk. See what I'm saying, people? Full of ideas. I'm just full of ideas that are just productive rather than counterproductive. Like the border making you quarantine. Wow, this doll is so much bigger than the other one that I was making. <laughs> Look at the hand. <laughs> is it milk micken or powdered milk in bags? Oh, see powder. Well, I don't know if I'd want to do powder milk. Hello, Deb. I don't know if I'd want to do powder milk because that would look like drugs, right? I mean, that's that's a little too sketchy. Little, a little too much. I think I think maybe me holding up a cow squeezing its udders across like you know so it's like psst. it'd be it'd be less less sketchy <laughs> right but if we threw a bag of powder i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that's that's a good idea <laughs> uh, i mean we could what if we got well that'd be a little bit messier what if we got a fan and we hold the powder milk and we get a fan and it blew it across the border, right? And then they can just catch it like that too. That would work as well. If it's regular milk that Canada sells, but in bags. Uh, man, I used to love powdered milk when I was a kid. Yum, yummy. I don't know why we had powdered milk. Go, uh, we use jugs that use bags. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, milk used to always come in like that, right? Powdered milk flying through the air. Yeah. You, we would have to think of a good way, like a good invention, though, of how to actually catch the powder. But I feel like if it was, if we were milking a cow's udder, it would probably be a little more precise. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we use plastic bottles or glass here as well. But I know exactly what you mean about the, the bags of milk that came in cardboard. They'd come in boxes, right? I totally know what you, you're talking about because when I was a kid, we used to have that up in Canada. Yep, they love their milk. What can I say? I actually don't even really drink milk. I have it in my cereal. When we have cereal for dinner. Mm. Yep. Dinner of champions. Oh. 
Isn't it, isn't it crazy that the border's shut yet the casinos are open here? The carton box is what we use for law, uh, long life milk, not fresh milk. Huh. Almond milk. Yeah, I like almond milk too. But you know, I'm thinking of switching just so I can squeeze some udders and make it rain milk to Canada. I'm, I'm willing to make the change just so I can do that. <laughs> yeah, the freaking borders, I mean, the casinos open because, you know, that's not sharing freaking germs or anything. Like, it's like the worst place to go. People touching all the slots. They have a new process though. And you wear masks, plus they take your temperature. Like a few places are doing that. It's pretty weird. Huh. Oh. Okay then. Yeah, so then after this layer, I would probably, I would bake it and then start doing some more like I might do a layer of a green sometimes I do that before I do a like a yellowish skin tone tie in all the colors so it's not so so pink Yeah, so if you put a, a green wash on after when it's if your if your doll is going too red or too pink and you need to tone it down and it's bugging you, you can put a green wash on it and it will it'll tone down all of that pink and red. But make sure you don't put too too much on it. Like you don't want it to you don't want to see the the green. <laughs> You want it pretty thin. It, it's just to, it's just to take down the, the so pink color. The so pink color. That's that's just a great way to explain it, Bean. Gosh, I need to I need to make those unicorns, you guys. Seriously. I really wish I knew somebody that could come over and set up my craft room for me. Do you think that I should have a craft room making party with you guys? We'll just all show up and just have shenanigans. Making being a, a craft room. I know, how fun would that be? It would be so fun, but not funner than a cow being have like, udders squeezed across the border. I mean, now that, ah, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Beans craft room party, heck yeah. Exactly. And I really need to organize it. <clears throat> That's a different kind of fun. <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh. And the scary part is, is I would be crazy enough to try something like that. Actually, but I mean, it's not very realistic. But, you know, in Bean's universe, it is. <laughs> Unicorns invited. Yeah, because I'm trying to think of a system of how I'm going to set up that room. Because I really need a table in there with a desk and probably my laptop and then the printer and I like to have a table that is is more of like a sitable sitable lower so I can sit at it a little more comfortably 
And then have taller, I like taller tables for packing up babies and for like making the onesies. Different room, you're painting air. Yeah, it's different from my painting. I have thought about putting it in here, but it's just, it gets so crowded in here with my doll supplies. So the other room would be for um, like my ones, like basically I have a, okay, so I have a table in my kitchen that's of dolls that I'm working on pretty much. And then I have another table of like where I do all my packing, like my, instead of, I used to do it on my kitchen table, I mean my kitchen counter, <clears throat> but my kitchen is never clean because I have kids here all the time that are tornadoes <sighs> so now I have a table that's in my kitchen I literally have three tables in my kitchen in my dining room because it's and then I have them sitting the I have <laughs> the feet part are sitting on cans because I like it higher so I'm not like bending over while I'm packing up all the packages yeah, so I have that. So I need that to be moved into my craft room. So that, which will be higher, which will be more comfortable. But then I would like a desk to where I'm working on the designs, like Cricut stuff. So I need like a smaller, lower table. <sighs> hmm. I don't know what I should do. I feel like, I don't know. You guys need to help me. <laughs> That's it. Buy a plane ticket. Craft room party at Bean's house. If you're lucky, we even will milk some cows. See? I'm just taking care of you guys. I'm just making sure if you come all this way, we're going to have a good time. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. How crazy would that be, though? I mean, I've been known to put some cows in other people's yards. Hello to you, Crystal, on my way. Um, adjustable standing desk. What if you can lower it can be lower and higher when you, oh, I didn't think about that. See, this is what I have you guys for, for ideas. And I, I also feel like for my onesies, I, I have a whole bunch of them and I'm thinking like, what is the best way to organize them? Like, should I just make them and organize them by color and size and put them on like a hanger or something? I don't freaking know. I'm so much better with cow ideas. <laughs> why? Why, Bean, why? I definitely have to hang stuff up too. Maybe I'll have one of those boards with all the holes in it, you know, where you can just like, cause I have like ribbon and material and wrapping paper, all that kind of stuff. Makes it so much easier if I have one table for shipping, one table for art stuff. But now I have all my Cricut stuff all over my kitchen table and now I have my material on another table and then I have another like full table for, for packing. So I have like, you know, I'm literally taking over all of my downstairs, all of it. There is nothing subtle about me at all. I know you understand. I know you understand. Look at that face. <sighs> this doll is so cute, this little face. This is going to be a monster baby. I just started it, so it's quite white at this point, but um, I am going to add a lot more color to it. I'm just getting kind of like the base. 
the base down. The base down? Base? Is that one? I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, then it would lower it. Let's see. Huh? Cube organizer and bins for each size color. Do you think that would be the easiest is the bins? I guess it would keep them clean too, eh? Like, I feel like they would, I mean, my white ones, I keep in Rubbermaid containers. The only thing I don't like about it is they're stacked on top of each other and then I have to move them. I'm so weird about that kind of stuff. It's like, why should that matter? Like, why should that matter? But it just does. It just bugs me. And I have to think of a place for my wrapping paper too. Like if I had it up somewhere, like I need to utilize the space because they would be um, organized and clean until ordered. Right. I think that would be, oh, I see what you're saying. So cute. So cubes and then put the Rubbermaid in the cube. So technically they're not laying on top of each other. That's a good idea. Okay. I hang my wrapping paper on the back of the door. There's no door. I have it on this black shelf that I have. And then I have a pair of scissors <laughs> that are holding it all up. Yep. <laughs> oh man. I yeah, so I think that the rubber maids are definitely going to I mean, all that stuff you can get from the dollar store too. It doesn't even have to be expensive. It can just be Yeah, I, I just need to like utilize the space that I have. So then I'm not spreading out all over the freaking house and kitchen if I just have like that area. Yeah, and kind of set it up like a, a store. Oh, Boundary's laying on the outside in the sun. She's like, oh, I feel so Sun feels so good. I feel like I could buy a lot of that stuff from the dollar store, right? Like a lot of the containers and hooks and all that, even like the shelving and like God, they have so much. They even have, those shower curtains are also, it's kind of a little bit off subject, but the shower curtains are also like really good for certain things. Like if you do painting and you want to protect your floor and you don't want to friggin' paint or pay a whole bunch of money for it, you can go to the dollar store and use shower curtains. That's what I do. And they like are like clean. Um, use a pole through wrapping paper and put brackets on each side of the, oh, smart. <laughs> uh, let's see, that goes through the middle of the wrapping paper. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if they have, I wonder if they have shower poles, shower poles. Are they called hookers? Yes, I definitely. Oh my God, I'm getting me some hookers. <laughs> I'm getting me some hookers. Oh my God, you guys don't, you want to hear a really funny story? It's like super a little bit like a little bit somewhat not appropriate, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> We're watching. Oh my God. <laughs> A uh, huckers, LOL, and my phone is dirty. <laughs> um, we were watching Jackass yesterday, and um, a Jackass three and a half or something. Oh my god! It's first of all, I just gosh, those guys. I don't know how they used to do that, but um, my oldest was sitting beside me, and Maverick, who's ten, was sitting like on the chair or whatever, so I could see him. And so we're like, me and my husband and my oldest, we're just like watching this jackass movie. And then all of a sudden it's like, do, 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 do. And like this thing goes flying and like, it goes flying through this like town that they made and. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I have a point, I promise. And it's a freaking 
big dildo <laughs> in my kit. He's like, he's like, oh my god, what is that? He's like, what is that thing? And me and my son, my oldest son, were just like, we were like trying not to just burst out laughing, but we were like, we looked at each other, we were like, <laughs> and he's, cause he's, it was so loud. He was like, what is that? Oh my God, what is that thing? <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god, it's like a big alien worm. That's weird. <laughs> a big alien. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god. It <laughs> My jaw. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it was just one of those times you were just like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's just dying. I wanted to just die laughing like that, but then I didn't want to like embarrass him. So I just made up what it was. Oh my god, now I'm going to think alien worm all the time I'm dead. Because <laughs> it's like flying through the air. It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's like knocking down. It's like, you know, all this uh, stuff as it's like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what a conversation, reborn some jumpstones thing stories. <laughs> well, for my, in my defense, it was in a movie. <laughs> and, uh, <it's laughs> Oh, my stomach. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> what the heck are you going to do? Kids are so funny. Hello, hello. How are you? We were just talking about naughty things over here. Don't mind us. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just had a flashback. Yep, I think dollar store is my best bet for that, for the... My, my awesome craft room that I'm going to make. This is a big baby. I thought that I got two of them, but I actually got three. Probably because it was finally one that I could buy. Like every time I go to the Bountiful Baby website, it's like friggin' sold out. Then I'm like, oh, I'm getting this one. Get some babies done, put them on Etsy. Don't mind that sound, that's just my French bulldog in the background. I know, she makes disgusting sounds. Okay. 
Yeah, so I got some kits in the mail that I'll show you guys. Eventually, I'll make, I'll upload the video, which is funny because it's actually, I've already started painting them. <laughs> you would think I would do that first, but nope, nope. Not I. How you doing? How you doing, Twy? You doing okay down there? This mouth is somewhat art, somewhat um, awkward to paint, which is why I just redid it. I find that, um, I, oh yeah, and by the way, I was looking, I actually went on YouTube and was like, how do you make a craft room? <laughs> and I was showing my husband and he's like, whoa, she's so organized. Holy cow, look at that. And then I'm like, I feel like crafters are more, uh, are more organized than artists. I feel like artists are very messy. Not all of them are like that, but a lot are like that. They're, we're more like messy-ish. <laughs> you hear that? Mess we're just more messiest. <laughs> there goes me making up words again. Holy cow, we've been doing this live for a long time. I'm just gonna put purple on her lips for now. So I can start the start the depth. She has a sparkle on her face. There we go. this mouth <laughs> her expression is actually really cute I think I'll probably give her glowing eyes. The other one's gonna be a vampire, but like I said, she is a custom. So I feel like I haven't really put on a, once, it's been a minute since I put on a monster baby on, on Etsy. Um. Uh, let's see, I'm, um, I think it's because crafters focus on one project at a time. Um, when it comes to reboarding, my table is a hot mess. <laughs> yeah, my painting and you know, I do every once in a while, like I'll, I will clean up and kind of just move, like it'll get really, really bad. And so then I'll move everything and but it's too, it would be too cluttered to have everything moved over into this room. I just need, I want this just to be my painting room. Okay, so she's got that. Now let me see, let me see here. Give her a little more. little more mottling there. <laughs> That's kind of the design that it's making.
Hmm. Hmm. And I want it really modeled on the on there, so I'm just gonna leave it. Except for right here. <laughs> what is she doing? Hey! <laughs> My husband just planted peach trees and the dog keeps on digging at it. She's an a-hole, obviously. Okay, so now I have these babies. And see how I put the pinks and the reds and now that it's dry, it's like a little bit darker. So I'll go, after these are baked, um, I will do a, probably a green wash and then, hello, hello. Crackling? Um, I do not on my end. But uh, yeah, so I'll probably do like so, a couple washes and then mm, I'd have to see probably, I would probably do like a jet, like a satin with a Genesis or maybe like a glazing gel to make it, um, to make it like more, to seal up the color, make it more translucent looking, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll do wash, 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 and then a sealer, see how it looks, and then add anything if I want to add anything. Um, and then do the fang. So I'll do the fangs last, probably. And then also, look at, aren't these pretty? <laughs> I have those. And then I also have, excuse me, the green that I normally use. Um, but I don't, I'm not sure on her eye color yet. I feel like I want to use glowing eyes, but her eyes are so little. It's like, I don't know. I have to, I have to think about it. Or I could make her a vampire. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes. Got some work done. That's what I'm talking about. Where do you get your eyes from? I got those from Ico. See, they're I Ico. I think it's like Ico.org or something. Um, I've been using these for years. I love this green color. It's like, it's my favorite. Yeah, and then I have to bake this baby. Why is she barking out there? What the heck, Twyla? Jeez. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna bake these babies and go. And then I'm probably just gonna do some more painting. Um, uh, probably gonna, I need to prep the unicorn, so I'll do that. Uh, and then, let's see. Um, another deer i don't know what she's she's out there in the sun there's a log out there she likes to lay on she just barks for no reason she's dumb if boundary barks she barks and now they've switched places <laughs> isn't that funny i didn't ever think she would lay in that bed honestly i thought that it was just gonna be <coughs> for twyla jeez boundary hello hello you look too comfortable i know i love how this thing rocks i'm just like yes 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 i love it oh i should go though it's been 104 minutes <laughs> hopefully you guys haven't been too bored but i i always have fun doing that doing lives and hanging out with everybody because i'm so lonely i'm so freaking lonely you guys you just make me not so not lonely Oh, she's back in her bed. Yeah, and I've been working on this one as well. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm just like, I just really love hanging out with you guys. I'm like, gotta do a live. 
But uh, yeah, and so that's it for for that. I guess I'm going to bake these, do the unicorn, and then maybe prep. I might prep this one as well. Like I said, this one is, I. it's 9 p.m. I was surprised. Like, I looked, I know McPherson's has them. That's where I bought mine. But then I looked on Irresistibles and it said sold out. So I'm not really sure about I should look to see what the certificate says I don't know what the amount is like you know if they're um how many they have where do you get your alternative fancy eyes need to find some um it depends like what uh what do you mean like fantasy eye because these ones here are just regular eyes they're just from Ico they're um Ico dot, I think it's Ico.org is what it is. I would have to double check. But, okay, so that, and then I get, I got these the same place, which is the polyglass, uh, no wait, it's not polyglass, just kidding. I forget what it is, platinum maybe it's called, but they're kind of like rubbery feeling. Um, and the paint sticks to them and they're a total pain in the ass to use, but they are beautiful. Your hubby needs to sit in one of our live chats so we can get him to let you have your hobby farm. I know. <laughs> I know. You have a very worried look on your face. I do too. I do that all the time. I bite my bottom lip constantly. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, I buy them so much, especially if I have a lot of anxiety and I get a red ring all the way around my mouth when I go to doll shows. It's like, it's so bad. By the next day, I, I have to put like Vaseline on my mouth because I'm constantly like sucking. <laughs> I just constantly, I just suck. That's all there is to it. Oh, my phone. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and everything. I freaking love you guys freaking love you and i will see you oh, how rude they're just phoning in the middle of my video <laughs> okay you guys i'll talk to you later bye